the statement, but I also hope the leaders listen to our statement as well. So I'm pretty optimistic though. Of course, we are trying to, to demonstrate against what's happening in our country. And uh, as you see, we have a lot of friends supporting our cause. Very well so far, there's a big crowd formed up. Uh, good atmosphere, and uh, I think we're ready. I think everybody's ready for it. It's brilliant. What a turnout! It's fantastic, and the mood in the march is just brilliant. I feel very sad because they're from my country and I feel very sad about them because I think they're innocent and there's nothing they did to deserve this. Now at this point I want to stress that everybody here is here because we want peace in the Middle East. More importantly, the people in the Middle East want peace. But let's be clear about something. The only peace that's ever been on offer to the people in the Middle East from these American and British imperialists and Israeli ethnic cleansers is a Roman peace involving their clear submission and subjugation and the turning of their land into a free market desert. This peace which involves slavery is unacceptable. Absolutely, absolutely terrible and absolutely ashamed of MPs and the Prime Minister that are not doing anything to um, halt the violence now and, and to have halted it five, you know, four or five weeks ago. Actually, I think, I suppose that this protest should show all over the world that we are, we cannot agree with policy of the United States and Great Britain. We are against war in Lebanon. We are for free Lebanon. Lebanon, we are with you. I'm not a particularly involved in this um, organization, but just as an ordinary British citizen, I just think it's disgusting. And I'm extremely angry that our government is allying itself to the United States, who are just apologists for Israel. And I believe what they say, Israel is a terror state. Just a, fr a, a, a frustration at, at, at kind of global imperialism, really, and, and the murdering bastards that are, like, are apparently acting in our name and bombing children all over the planet. I'm here to declare that Israel does not need 50,000 bombs going through my Scottish airports. Israel needs 50,000 psychiatrists and behavioural th behavioral therapists uh, in order to find out why they have to kill uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 Arab children and women for each Israeli that's killed.
It's the first time in Edinburgh actually that we've ever done this kind of thing at the US consulate, so it's quite significant. Um, and I think the delegation really appreciated it and the children because really at the bottom of this war is, is children, innocent lives are being slaughtered. You know, and we want to emphasize that. Uh, I am from Palestine, uh, but I was, I've never been to my country and I have no right to return to Palestine because Israel does not give me the right of return. And um, I was born and grew up in Lebanon in a refugee camp called Sabra and Chatila, where I lost my family in the 1982 and uh, during the war in Lebanon. We're from Palestine. Uh, we're a group of uh, Jewish people who live in Scotland and we are very, um, very much against um, Israel's actions and we feel it's really important that um, as people who are Jewish that we speak out and um, let the world know that they can't take as an assumption the fact that every Jewish person supports Israel because there are lots and lots of us. As the protest rolled on, we asked bystanders their thoughts on the march. The government will decide what they want to do, and unfortunately there's not a lot we can do about it. And the founders of the state of Israel were atheists. They weren't Jewish at all. All the founders of Israel were atheists. And I've got nothing against Israelis at all. Some of the Jews have been the best socialists in the world. And they should be embarrassed for themselves. They should be totally embarrassed of what they're doing. It's a festival. In Scotland, you can protest about anything you like and, you know, freedom of speech. But they couldn't do it in their countries, but they can do it here. You know, it's sad that in a day like this, we have to listen to that. Well, I think it makes them feel better. I think it makes me feel irritated for a little while. But that's their constitutional right, which it wouldn't be if the Middle East was run by the people they support. <laughs> Palestine and Israel. Why can't they just get along? I'm from America and you gotta deal with what we have to do. Oh, look at me. I used to march against South African apartheid. Now there's no apartheid to 